next lesson today, we're going to do blending as usual and some sound spelling. But our sound spelling today is going to be using digraphs. Remember digraphs? Remember that a digraph is when you take two letters and you put them together to make one sound. We'll talk a little bit more about that in a little bit after we're done blending, okay? And another thing I wanna mention for our blending today, all the words we're blending are going to be four and five sound words, okay? If you're finding that blending four and five sound words is too tricky, go back to my first phonics lessons and practice blending three sound words again, okay? But if you're ready, let's get started with those four and five sound words. Here we go. Okay, now remember, when I blend, I'm going to say the sounds and show you how many sounds on my hand, and then you have to try to blend the sounds together to make a word, okay? All right, here we go. Here's our first one. S, k, i, p, s, skips, skips. That was a long one. K, u, a, th, cloth. S, o, e, ing. Sling. P, er, I, d. Pride. K, a, m, p. Camp. Good. H, a, n, d, z. Hands that has that tricky S at the end that sounds like a Z. All right, here's your last one for blending today. Th, er, ah, st, frost. Great job, that was another five sounder, frost. Awesome, okay. The next thing you need to do is get your whiteboard and your whiteboard marker or a pencil and a piece of paper and get ready for some sound spelling with digraphs. Okay, today for our sound spelling, we're going to be making words with two digraphs that we learned when we were back in the classroom. The first digraph we're going to be using today is shh. Do you remember the two letters that have to go together to make the shh sound? If you know, write them down on your paper. Go ahead right now. Okay, now I'm gonna do it. See if you were right. SH makes sh. Were you right? If not, that's okay. That's what I'm here for, to remind you. Okay, now the next digraph we're going to be sound spelling with today is ch. It's kind of like sh, but a lot harder, right? Ch. If you remember, remember, oh, I want to remember this was shiny shell. Do you remember cheerful chimp or Charlie chimp? What two letters go together to make ch, ch, ch? If you remember, write it down. I'm gonna write it down. Check to see if you were right. C -H. Ch, ch, ch. All right, here we go. All the words that we're going to be writing today are going to have either a ch or a sh in it. Now we're not going to be counting the sounds like we were doing on our last lesson from yesterday or from whenever you watched it. Instead, we're doing what's called chaining, and we're going to build off of the last word to help us figure out the next word. So we don't have to figure out how many sounds are in each word, because we can use the first word before to help us. I'll show you what I mean. So the first word we're gonna write is chin. Chin. Ch-in. We could count the sounds. Ch. I, n. Okay, I'm hearing three sounds, so I'm gonna write three spaces for my three sounds. Now, I'm going to make sure I have a sound for each space. Ch, I, n. Okay, and now I'm gonna write in my letters for the sound. Ch, oh, ch. Well, 
I, I know ch isn't one letter. I know that ch is two letters, right? Ch, ch, it's this one, two letters to make ch. So I'm gonna write the two letters right here in this space. Ch, I, n, chin. That's how you write chin. Okay, now for the next words, I'm not going to count every sound and make space because I can use this word to help me with the next word. If this is chin, how would we write shin? How would we write shin if this is chin? Go ahead and try. Try to write shin. Shin. I built off of this one. All I had to do was change ch to sh, and it still is ending in in. Chin, shin. Okay, great. Listen. If this is shin, how would we write ship? Ship. Ship. Sh. Okay, listen closely. If this is ship, how would we write ships? Ships. 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 Awesome, I just had to add an S. Ship became ships. All I had to do is add an S. Okay, now listen to this one. If this says ships, how would you write chips? Chips. I'm hearing a different diagram at the digraph at the beginning now. Chips. 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 Still stayed the same. Ips. Ips. I just had to change that digraph. If this says chips, how would you write chip? Just chip. If this is chips, how would you write chip? Chip. Ch -i -p. Chip. Ooh, for this next one, we're going to change the vowel. So listen, if this is chip, how would we write chop? Chip, chop. Chip becomes Chop. Chop. We just had to change that vowel. Great job. Okay. If this is chop, how would we write shop? Chop. Shop. 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 Chop. Shop. Okay, we got two more and then we're all done. If this is shop, how do we write shot? Shop becomes shot. 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 All right, last one. If this is shot, how would we write shut? Shut. 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 Excellent job reviewing those digraphs. Remember that it's tricky sometimes with di digraphs because it's one sound, but you need two letters. So keep up the good work. Thank you again for joining me for another phonics lesson with me. This is our eighth amazing that's almost two weeks of school lessons so awesome job keep reading keep writing keep practicing and I hope to see you next time bye